Wednesday, we're here at Pipeline, the famous Bonsai Pipeline for the backdoor shootout. We have four categories. The main category being the surfing that's been going on for 20 years, shortboard normal surfing. Beautiful pipeline. This is one of the world's most prestigious surf breaks around. And we're blessed enough to be able to compete here and showcase some of our talents. And we're over here in memory of Duke Hanamoku, um, known for, you know, everything in the water. So that's the really cool thing about this event is that they have everything that you could possibly think of in the water. You get longboard, shortboard, body surfing, you got sup. And this is the second year they included the stand-up, so it's really cool. I watched stand-up paddling evolve and I was kind of skeptical about stand-up paddling at Pipeline. I thought there was only a few people who could really do it. Last year when we brought the event here, I really was blown away by the level of the surfers. They were able to ride smaller boards now and they're actually really good watermen. To be out here competing now at the Dahui Backdoor Shootout, one of the world's most prestigious shortboard events, most people would have laughed at that. Like, oh yeah, stand up paddling in the Hui Backdoor Shootout, yeah, right. But as a surfer and a stand up paddler, it's great to see everyone getting together and appreciating each other. They're doing exactly what guys on shortboards are doing, but even more. <laughs> Way sketchier and gnarlier. So I got a lot of respect for them, and when I see them get a good wave at pipe, I, I can't even imagine myself doing something like that, so my hats are totally off to them. Those guys are, you know, the ultimate watermen, so good to watch that. Gets me motivated. We're all watermen, and we all love one thing, and that's the ocean, so we all share that passion for the ocean, so, you know, it's always exciting to see what everyone brings to the table at Pipeline. I love stand-up paddling myself. I'm not as good as these guys to stand-up paddle at Pipe, but you know I give them all the respect in the world. They're out there charging just as hard or harder than anyone else. And being in the ocean, being a waterman, period, is Hawaiian style. And uh, just very happy to see those guys out there getting a chance to do their thing at Pipeline Backdoor. A lot of these guys are already tight friends, um, but also I think a lot of the guys like Makua, like Tori Meister, they already have more of an open mind. And, and being in Hawaii, we have more of an open mind to, to different sports and embracing all the different sports as long as there's respect and, and it's done the right way. When you go out at Pipe and you, you see all your friends and stuff, it's nice and it's welcoming, but you know, that is a very grounded wave and a lot of people don't really understand that you can't just go out there on a stand up and just go and get whatever wave you want because there is people that have grown up there that live there the whole lives and you know, I thank everybody that allows me to go out there but um, it's pretty crazy when you get a wave and you, you feel like it's rewarding. 